Griffin just turned four months and he's going through his four month sleep regression. And we're on vacation. The past couple of nights have been rough. We haven't been the best at putting him to bed at consistent times. Abby left her breast milk at home. Wait. <laughs> Abby left her breast pump at home. I did it on purpose. Our goal this week is to enjoy vacation, but to do that, we're going to need to meet some objectives. Keep our baby well fed, operate off of his schedule, reestablish a bedtime routine, stay on top of his naps, seek help if necessary, and stay calm. <laughs> At the start of our vacation, we were super excited because we were staying at a smart home on the beach with our friends. So we just flew into Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm really excited to see this house. I'm so stoked. Did you push the button? I did not press the button. This was our first time taking a vacation with other people with kids, so we really didn't know what to expect. Thank you guys so much for doing this. <laughs> it's actually kind of comfy. It's comfy back there. <laughs> I'll go in here first. <laughs> Well, we're getting cozy already. This is Maddie and Trevor. They're hanging out with us for the week. We're getting so close already. <laughs> then we pulled up at the house and it completely blew us away. It's a blue house right there. That's like a, a mansion. What? Holy cow. <laughs> what? Where was your macarena? <laughs> oh no. He got it's ripe. Look at this. Oh my, look at that. Holy cow, we are only on the first level. We are literally just right there. And there's that room, that room, that room, that room, that room. This is insane. It was almost too good to be true. We were staying at a beachfront smart home with eight bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, an elevator, private boardwalk, pool, and hot tub. I mean, come on. The house even came with a golf cart and a Tesla. So what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> So right now we are just, gosh, so exhausted because we woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and I probably slept maybe four hours. It may or may not have caused a few fights in our marriage. I think people that are just tired tend to be grumpier. Same thing with people that are hungry. Griffin, we should go get some food because I know your mom's hungry. <laughs> oh, I love you. You are so happy today. So Abby and I were both extremely tired, but we decided to send it and go out to dinner with our friends because we're on vacation. Oh, I just love the smell of fish. It smells so good. But I quickly discovered that vacation as a father is vastly different. Got a streamer. I left the restaurant to help calm Griffin down and was pleasantly surprised to find out I was not the only parent that left the restaurant to calm whoa, down their whoa, kid. Whoa. He was not having it in there. This kid can go from laughing hysterically and like having such a good time to crying his eyes out. He's just over today's travel day. Aw, <laughs> oh, Mom. He's had a long day. Was it a lot of traveling for you today? Yeah. Be honest, are you stressed? I'm a lot less stressed now that we got here. Something about this house, something about the ocean. I am so flipping exhausted. Griffin has not been sleeping the best, you guys. It's been it's been a struggle. <sighs> so Abby just stops breathing. <sighs> Uh, crap, we just stopped breastfeeding Griffin. He's crying so much. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. And this is where things took a turn for the worse. See, we knew Griffin was going to fight going to bed, but we did not expect in a million years that it would be this hard. I'm so sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Hey, it's okay. And that's when it dawned on me, the four month sleep regression. Ever since Griffin was born, he has been an incredible sleeper. We have had little to no issues with sleep whatsoever. And most nights he sleeps 10 hours straight. So when people warned us about the four month sleep regression, we just brushed it off. We thought it was something that would never affect us. I tried rocking Griffin. I tried walking Griffin. We did every possible thing to calm this kid down. And it seemed like no matter what I did, all he could do was cry. Then finally, after two whole hours, he fell asleep. That was the hardest he's fought going to bed, like Poor ever. Boy. But he's asleep now. That four sleep version really is no joke. Yeah. Jeez. At that point, I just assumed that the fight to get Griffin to sleep was over and we could just hang out with our friends. We went down to the heated pool and hung out for an hour, but things got complicated once again. Griffin refused to sleep and it got so bad that I had to wake up Abby to breastfeed him. I just found a nipple shield on the floor. I was up with that kid every hour on the dot all night long. And then at 5 a.m., he decided I'm waking up for the day. Okay. Griffin has been up for the past two hours. It was like pitch black when he first started getting sad. I am utterly exhausted. I think you just want to be up for the day, don't you, buddy? I got up to the bathroom like real early this morning. All right. <laughs> How are you not asleep right now, dude? What the, what the heck? 
Wow, at least the ocean view is really pretty. Good morning! Like, we have our own private entrance. Do you guys realize that? It's just so bright, I can't really open my eyes. I'm trying to get Griffin to go down for a nap right now, and it's been tough. I read online that one way to fight the four month sleep regression is to put babies in a quiet, dark room. So, a closet is the perfect place, clearly. Okay, we're gonna walk away, cross our fingers. <sighs> I know I don't look like it, but I'm really exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, that's a win. That's never mind. Hi, Mama. Hi. How are you guys doing? Love it out here. You enjoying the pool? It's like a green, this pool oh my gosh. Oh, buddy, so adorable. You look pretty, honey. What up? What up? Welcome. Hi. Thanks for being here. I slept zero. Bro. Crystal slept zero. You gotta get some coffee in you. I feel like I have not felt fully rested since I've had Griffin. Every time I wake up, it feels like I'm waking up from like deep sleep. When he woke up this morning at 5.15, I don't even know what I said. I felt nauseous. I'm so tired. And it's not his fault. It's just like I think like his breastfeeding is apt to me or something. That's 100% what it is. How long has he been out for now? Oh my goodness, like two hours? He doesn't know when the days and the nights are right now. Griffin is down for a nap right now. Abby told me that he slept for four hours. I'm starting to feel kind of sick, so I'm hoping that tonight I can get some good sleep so that that whole sickness thing stays away. I feel like today just went like in a flash. I'm just hoping that we can just take some time today to actually enjoy it. It's not every day you get to drive a freaking Tesla, so Hunter and I decided to go take it for a spin after my nap, and holy cow was it fun. <laughs> so we heard that there's a little delivery on the port. Ooh. Oh. What? what? There's multiple. Oh my gosh. For all of us. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I've been trying to put Griffin to bed for like an hour now, and it's not working. So now Matt is taking over. Somehow I think that he's got his morning and his evenings mixed up again. That happened when he was first born, 100%. and now it's happened again. Are you feeling sick too? No. I feel like poop. <laughs> oh boy. Then at literally the most inconvenient time where Abby needed me most, I got sick. It's 11.33 and Griffin is still not asleep. I've been trying for almost two hours now. I love him. I just want to go rest. Yeah. He's just learning so much. Just keeping him stimulated. Just know that you're a very, very good mom. It's just a hard time for him. I'm going to get him out. You gonna nurse him? I've already nursed him like four times. Yeah. Big shout out to Wanda for taking us on another amazing trip. This house is already blowing my mind. I swear these just keep getting better and better. Wander has a ton of cool smart homes all across the country, and during your stay, you can control everything completely from the app right on your phone. If you would like to win a three-night stay with Wander, subscribe to their YouTube channel, which we'll go ahead and link down below. Go to wander.com, download the app to get entered. This house is absolutely beautiful. Like, even the details on the ceiling, like, how how sick is that that they put that much effort into the freaking ceiling? Every Wander house is a smart home. So you can log into your Wander app and literally like do things like turn off the lights, unlock the doors. Everything yeah. is all from the touch of a button, which is really, really cool. Our bed connects to an app to where we can cool and heat the mattress. We can control the speakers around the whole house on our phone. But then also it's really important that there's upfront pricing with Wander. I feel like with so many rentals, you like mm -hmm. book a stay because you see a cheap price and then they add on all these Dude, fees. That's like my biggest pet peeve when it comes to short term rentals is that they're not telling you the actual price. I love that Wander does that, that they show you the actual price and they don't just like jack up the price when you go to finally book it. They also have 24 seven concierge access. Anything you need help with, you can text them and you'll get an immediate response. It's super helpful. When you factor in the cost of a Wander stay, like it's a really good deal because you're getting all of this and a Tesla. What you guys should definitely do is subscribe to Wander's YouTube channel, go to wander.com and download the app. If you do those two steps, you'll be entered to win a free Wander stay for three nights and up to three guests. Yes, your friends that you choose will love you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, Wander is freaking incredible. It's 5.42 in the morning right now and Griffin somehow woke up. Trying to get him to go back to bed. Trying to avoid like unswaddling him and giving him milk and going through that whole process because that wakes him up a ton. We just want to sleep. We made it through the night. It was a long night. <laughs> 
But we made it. Griffin, however, did wake up at four, at five, and at six. This is developmentally appropriate to be having sleep issues at this point. Their sleep cycles are changing. They're starting to develop cycles like we have. So he's learning and we're gonna help him learn. And also maybe cut the afternoon nap shorter. So we'll see. Eating fajitas tonight. I'm very excited for that. Let's go. We've had a rough couple of days. Maybe Griffin's not gonna get better. Maybe he's still not gonna sleep through the night. My hope is that like we can just approach things with a new attitude, with a positive attitude. Hopefully that'll change things as we move forward these next couple of days. I'm holding Griffin so that Abby can eat, and then she's gonna feed Griffin while I eat. And we're gonna try to put him to bed at 7:30. It's a little risky, but these are desperate times. He's luckily calming down, Abby. Look, you can see that he's like using his. Oh wait, never mind. I'm like totally inaccurate she's crying again uh, any advice as a mother Devin? all i can say is give yourself grace it's a learning curve you know yeah you'll get through it okay night number three i guess we're doing a christmas movie and a gossip line let's freaking go so i already had one i should probably have one more they're good for you. They are. Guys, we're, we're he's asleep. Hey, please pipe down. We're vlogging. Why don't set? <laughs> okay, guys. Yes. We just got the baby down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have like a dance party celebration to celebrate this glorious moment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone just committed facts of a freaking hunter. Hunter, did you seriously not dance? Yeah, you actually piped up. Wait, you did? So like, Nico, did it. Nico, we need to see your dance. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> I've arrived at <laughs> Waffle House. Yay. I'm not sure if I've ever had Waffle House. I've never been. We are going to shut down this Waffle House with all these kids. Oh my gosh. Are we freaking excited or what? <laughs> yeah. Griffin is a very popular guy. He's a chick magnet. He is so confused right now. <laughs> Moment of truth. Is Waffle House worth the hype? Does it have the hype other than <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> it's really good. really good. I feel like you can get this at other places then. No. no. I still give this a rating of 10. I'll Thank give it an, an eight and a half. I'll eat it then. I'll eat it. See, look, it doesn't want to get Back at the house, I was forced against my will to do a TikTok dance. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I get really embarrassed if I don't have a shirt on, and I especially don't like dancing in front of people. But Abby was just begging me to do the dance with her, and as the amazing husband that I am, I did it. It feels so good to get out of the house. The air out here is really nice. I love this beach smell. Wow, these fries are so great. We should show them the other food. Whoops, we already ate all the other food. <laughs> all right, guys. It's okay. Take my word for it. It's been a really great time. Griffin has been so good. He's been super quiet, just chilling. He was asleep for a while, but he woke up probably 20 minutes ago, and he has not been crying. Oh, I think our friends, Nico and Crystal, forgot that we would need to get back in somehow. Wait, hey. they're right there. They don't hear us. Somebody help us! Matt. Oh, sorry. That would actually cause alarm They're just for people. Running, right? I shouldn't have done that. I can do it on All the right. app. Wait, what? Oh, the wander app that yeah. works for that? Hey, get, the, get this. Oh, I, I am. I'm vlogging. Did he go down? He went down with no fussingness? No fussiness. No way. You have the monitor? I like, don't speak too soon, but I think we're getting out of the four miles of pressure. No, I'm just kidding. Hunter's <laughs> been making fun of our baby monitor. I'm just curious about your little dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's literally just a regular baby monitor. I don't know what else to tell you. It's a Motorola, so I'm not really convinced. The monitor's supposed to connect to our phones, but I can't figure out how to work it. Fancy. Yeah. Abby, here, I brought you this delicious cookie. Thank you. What's wrong with it? I just wanted to record me giving it to you, like in our video. Oh, Matt is an amazing husband. Oh, he thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, can you finish up all the compliments you're giving me? Oh, he always gives me cookies every single <laughs> night. It's our thing. <laughs> That night was the first night in nearly five days that Griffin slept all the way through. What if like we're done with the full month sleep regression literally in like four days? That'd be insane. Ahead of ourselves, but I would love that. Then came my least favorite part of vacation, which is saying goodbye. We're gonna miss you guys. Bring it in, group hug. You missed out on the group hug, honey. Okay, group hug. Everybody in. Sometimes life's challenges come at the most inconvenient times. Literally carrying all our luggage right now. I'll be lying if I said the trip was an absolute blast because in all honesty, it was probably the hardest vacation I've ever had in my life. 
but we were still able to experience some very special moments. We had great times with our friends, got to bond with our son, and go zero to 60 in a freaking Tesla. <laughs> Life may throw some curveballs at times, but I always like to remember that without the bad, how would we be able to fully appreciate the good? <laughs>